th you think they'd let me wear this to the Senate? <laughs> Welcome to a Senate hearing room where nefarious things happen. <laughs> I am your host, Lewis McClung, and today we are not going to be politically charged. If you clicked on this here little diddly daddly video thingy my bob, well, I hate to break it to you, it's not going to be about who's right on which side. No, we're going to be talking about some weirdos, some stinky guys. They're all guys. Of course they're all guys. They all suck. <laughs> ah, it's great to be a guy. Yeah. So, if you haven't been keeping up to date, lately there's been a couple things happening online. <laughs> All of them to do with the U.S. government. Senate. Uh, so the Senate, if you don't know what they are, if you're from a different country or you didn't pay attention in government class or you didn't even get to government class yet, just you wait. It's a lot of fun. Basically, the Senate is the people who let the bills go through to the president. They say, hey, we want this to happen, and if you don't veto it, it's gonna happen. They do hearings, they do votes, they do all kinds of things. You just, they, they're the people who make the things, make the things happen. They're very important. But, but there have been three incidents, and I count them three, that have happened recently that are very, uh, stinky. Kind of gross. Don't like them. Don't want them to happen anymore. And we're gonna go over them today. First incident, George Santos! So George Santos was a senator, U.S. senator, the senator of New York, who, uh, uh, so to start off, do you, do you know what only stands is? Do you know what that is? Well, it's a, it's a thing, right, where people go on there and they're like, hey, you're a fan of me? Go watch my stuff. Go look at my things. It's so great. And it has slowly turned into a, uh, P-O-R-N site. And, uh, th that's great and good, and we support all the girl bosses who are girl bossing out there doing their girl boss thing. And if you're a guy, you're girl bossing too. I hate to break it to you, and I'm proud of you. Another prerequisite to what he's done, senators get a lot of funding for things, right? You give them money so that campaign can be funded. They can run for senator. They can ask for your donation so that they can spend more money to get more people's votes, not just yours. But instead of funding what this intelligent man did with his donations, donations. he decided that he was going to uh, have a little fun, do a little things here and there, get a little frisky with some ladies. Haha. <laughs> Uh, he decided to spend his campaign money on only stands, Botox for women, and casino trips! Vegas, baby! Las Vegas! Woo! Las Vegas! So, on the service level, what's, what's the, the deal, deal, yo? Hey, George! All those people gave you that money, and you decided to use it on this? If you used all your private funding, your, you know, actual money that you made yourself doing your own work, uh, nobody could say anything, but people gave you this money uh, to do your job. Not so you can uh, fiddle around with some other fellas. I don't know if it was all women, and we don't judge about that, but we do judge on the fact that he used this money for things the money is not meant to be used for. So, for instance, to pay people on only stands with money that other people gave you to run for senator. The overlying problem with this is that he was obviously using it for corn. C-O-R-N. But, you know, replace the C with the P. <laughs> you get it. You're not stupid. I know, I know. Basically, the problem is, is that you're, you're giving into your gross primal urges, you dirty man. It's very gross. And also, the whole buying Botox for other people, specifically women, was a strange thing to hear about because, one, that means you're using crowdfunding and what people are giving you to, you know, do the right thing, do what they are paying you to do for other people who are not them so that they can look better for you. That's just a guess. It's just a little guessy guess. Just a little, uh, just a little guess. Uh, but I guess I'm 100% right. <laughs> I always am. <laughs> and, of course, the last thing, going gambling. How much money did you lose, George? How bad at gambling are you that you have to ask other people for money to go gambling? You obviously don't win a lot if you have to use your crowdfunding. Just win more, loser. Bozo. Bozo? Imagine not winning at Vegas. Going to casinos with your campaign money and deciding, oh, I'm gonna lose a bunch. I'm a loser. Brought to you by George Santos. 
But that was not the only thing in recent history that has happened in the Senate that was appalling, ununderstandable, frankly distasteful. Have you ever been to a schoolyard before where there's a bunch of kids who decided they're uh, going to get in a little tussle, they're going to get in a little fight, they're going to uh, throw a right and a left and a, maybe a kick to the ball? That's, That's playgrounds, playground, baby. Going up on a swing and deciding to fly right off and smash your shoe right into some kid's nose. I've done it before. Highly recommend it. I don't highly recommend it. Please, kids, if you're watching this which you shouldn't be um don't do that so what does that have to do with the senate uh, it shouldn't have anything to do with the senate honestly but there was a court case of sorts sometimes the senates have hearings like this where they're conducted like a court case where your judge is bernie sanders we'll get back to that i'm not saying my political affiliation with bernie sanders is anything but all i know is that one time he slept at a one time he slept at a, a coronation or whatever i don't know. basically two people did something Senator Mark, Mark Wayne, Wayne Mullen. Mullen. How are you gonna have two first names in one? Mark Wayne. There's no space. There's no hyphen. It's Mark Wayne. Mark Wayne. Lightning, Lightning McQueen. McQueen. Ka-chow! <laughs> Mark Wayne. He's a he's a guy. He's a weird guy. Uh, we'll get to that. The second guy is Sean O'Brien. He works for the Teamsters Union, which the Teamsters Union is basically a union that fights for overall workers' rights. Uh, blue collar, white collar, all collars, low class, high class, mid class, all of them. They, they like to support uh, the workers, which has nothing to do with this issue. My issue is this. If you want to run your mouth, we can be two consenting adults. We can finish it here. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. You want to do it now? I'd love to do it right now. Well, stand your butt up then. You stand your butt up. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, stop it. Is that your right. solution every poll? Oh. No, no, sit down. Oh, you're a clown. Sit down. Okay. You know, you're a United States senator. Sit down. Ah, oh, okay. okay. Sit down, please. All right. Can I spar? Hold it. <laughs> get it? Because they were going to get into a fight in the Senate. Uh, and Bernie stepped and he's like, all right. Cut it out. Imagine getting your fight broken up by Bernie Sanders, an old man who sleeps when he's bored. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. What losers. <laughs> Basically, the issue with this whole thing is that you're conducting like children. You're conducting business that has to do with our entire country a lot of the time, and this is the way you uh, act? It's a little strange. Again, no political views shown here. I don't care what any political affiliation of these people is. They're all stupid. They're all doing stupid things. I really don't care what their affiliation is if they're acting like babies. Like kids in a schoolyard fighting about which girl they like. Hey, I like that girl too. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Overall, it's kind of giving uh, a kid energy, right? If you're going to be conducting business at such a large level that the Senate does, and this is the way you treat that business as a, uh, a petty fight, you're... The way he said it was, uh, you said you could find me at any time, any place. This is a time and a place. This is not a time and a place for a fight, though. One, you're up on the stand. You got things to say. You got things to do. People here are waiting for you to be done with those things to do. Stop arguing with another man trying to show that your man parts are bigger than his man parts. That's weird, gross, and I don't like it. This is on a smaller note than the other two things. The one before, you know, uh, uh, people, people are, are funny, funny bro. Stop being a weirdo. weirdo. <laughs> Idiot loser George Santos running for senator. This is more of like a, uh, uh, just stop being idiots. You know, people, this is a, an, an important thing, right? Sure, you guys are mad at each other, but uh, settle that with the actual act of what you are doing in the Senate at that moment. Whoever wins between the two of you wins. It's that simple. You don't need to get into a fist fight. That's so childish and brutish. Personally, I like the uh, the avenue of victory of just actually winning something that matters. A fist fight will never matter in the grand scheme of things. It's just the way people who have no better way of settling things decide to settle things. And the last thing, the big thing, I always save the best for last. And if you're here till this point, friggin' subscribe. Friggin', friggin' subscribe. I know it's a call to action that never works or whatever, but, you know... If you like the content and you're here, might as well stick around. And the forecast for this issue is uh, a little hot and spicy. Some hot and spicy time was had in a place where it is not supposed to be had. Do you guys know what a T-W-I-N-K is? It has to do with the um, overall LGBTQ community, right? It's a, it's usually a gay man who is a little more down for being down, on the bottom, right? That's usually what a T-W-I-N-K is. And there's nothing wrong with being that, but imagine it was being done in a Senate hearing room. See, I'm not going to show you any clips or any blurred out images, but you can go look for them yourself. Just look up Senate 
T-W-I-N-K, and you will hear about this thing that happened. Basically, in a Senate hearing room, two people did the hot and spicy, spicy time in a place where they're not supposed to do hot and spicy, spicy time. That, that was, was one, one take. take. Holy, Holy shit. shit. The T-W-I-N-K in question was Aiden Mays Kejarovsky. That, that was, was not, not one take. take. A very young, not so experienced in the world of the Senate man who is more of a secretary, right? Somebody who did the paperwork and behind the scenes, right? Was allegedly, because all of this has to be allegedly, because they don't want to let out that they let this happen in a Senate hearing room, because it's not something that's supposed to be known about, because it probably happens all the time. It's, <sighs> humans love doing things that they're just not supposed to do, and if they don't get caught, well, it's just that much better. You know what I'm saying. If you're, you know, not a kid, because again, if you're a kid and you're here, get, get the, the hell, hell out of here. here. Get, get the, the hell, hell out of here. here. Basically, when you do the hot and spicy time, right, you kind of get caught up in the mood and you, you know, you do things that you're not supposed to do because it's exciting. You know, you, it makes you, it makes you go, oh my God, that's so crazy. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. And that's, you know, it, take it or leave it. It's a weird thing, but it's human. But when you let it get out, right, the person records it and they send it to all their friends. They're like, check out what I did in the Senate hearing room on last Saturday at 12 p.m. Check it out. That man who uh, sent that out was uh, Senator Ben Cardin. Allegedly. We don't actually know for sure, but... That's apparently what Aiden said, or something like that. Again, it's all shrouded in mystery, but the video got out, and I saw it, so many people saw it, you probably saw it. If you're on Twitter in the past two weeks, it's it's been everywhere, and sadly we all saw it. Some people didn't see it blurred out, I got lucky and I saw it blurred out, but you know what's happening, he's got like straps on, and it's weird, and it's, uh, it's just not, it's not something to happen in a place where our country's future is on the line. See, the Senate isn't as important as, per se, the president or the Supreme Court. You know, they make decisions that could end our country. The The Senate dabbles in so many things. They take up a lot of the space of the government. They make a lot of decisions that the government makes. That's not necessarily a bad thing. The bad thing is the people conducting that business are so unbelievably crazy. How are you all doing this? Yes, money corrupts. Everybody knows that. There, you can't really stop it for most people. But how are you going to let it get this bad knowing that there are repercussions for your actions a lot of the time? You are letting this happen, right? You are going against your better judgment probably and thinking, well, I'm rich and kind of famous, so I'll probably be okay, which is the opposite of why it would go right. Because see, lately, a lot of people have been catching on to the fact that being rich and famous isn't a good thing for the human psyche. It gets to your head so easily, and then you make decisions like this, and like this, and it's just not, it's not okay. It's really not. I do not support any of these actions, but specifically the last and the first one, right? George Santos and Aiden Kejarovsky, right? I'm bad at pronouncing Eastern European names, okay? They're hard. Not, not unlike, unlike Aiden, Aiden was, was in, in the, the video, video we, we all saw and watched. watched. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, it's just discerning, right? It makes me uncomfortable to know that this is happening a lot more than we probably know of, because if this much is getting out, so frequently at such a small period of time, which is in the last month, the last couple weeks, all of this has come out slowly. Not, Not unlike, unlike Mr. Mr. Ben, ben Cardin. Cardin! A lot of just annoying things, right? And I, I beg you, senators, I beg you, please just get a grip on reality. Do your job, and then do things that don't have to do with your job, separate from things that do with your job. Don't use your crowdfunding and your campaign money to pay for stuff like that. Don't get in a fight when you're doing business. Do it later. Because sure, any place, any time doesn't mean any place, any time. It means when available, okay? It's in parentheses at the end and nobody ever talks about it. And so then dumb people like this who are for some reason making decisions about a country uh, don't understand that. And then they're like, oh, let's... Let's fight right here in a Senate hearing room where uh, the whole world's going to see it and it's going to be great. Because the guy was taking off his wedding ring. He was taking off his wedding ring. He was. And don't have hot and spicy, spicy time in the Senate hearing room at any time. Do it at home. You're putting a stain on the goodwill of your own decisions. And then from then on, you make everybody else suffer who works and actually works diligently in the department that is the Senate, right? All the people now have a bad taste in their mouth for working there, or people have a bad taste for the Senate because of the things your idiocy has caused. So maybe just don't do this. 
at your job. You can do it anywhere else. It doesn't matter if you do it anywhere else. It's because you're doing it at your job. Stupid idiots. You're all stupid. Anyways, this video was brought to you by this member. Thank you so much. I appreciate you oh, 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 so much. I, I couldn't do it without you. Wink, wink. Thank you. Thank you. And to all my members, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, not politically. Make sure the comment section down here is, uh, not political. I really don't care about the affiliation of these senators. It doesn't matter. Their decisions are stupid no matter what side they're on. Here's a hot take, right? No matter what side you're on, it is easy to tell if your decisions are stupid or not stupid. I don't care if you're left, right, Republican, Democrat, uh, independent, which everybody should be independent. All the parties suck. Basically, the goal of me as a, an American, right, when I get the chance to vote on the next president or whatever, uh, what am I going to be thinking about, you may be asking. I am going to be thinking about, endlessly, why do I care about this idiot if he doesn't care about me? And I'm saying he because we've never had a female president. Sorry. It would be cool. It would be cool, but uh, all... The, la the last female candidate we had was crazy, and, and that has nothing to do with her affiliation at all. She was crazy. Trump, crazy. Biden, crazy. They're politicians. They're stupid idiots, all right? All of the presidents are crazy lunatics, okay? We need some regular people in there, all right? Not 60-year-old crazy men, all right? That's my official opinion. Thank you for watching my video, and I hope you have a good morning, evening, or afternoon wherever you are. Later! It's official. They'd let me wear this to the Senate. <laughs>